from Getaway to Gridlock. Queues stretching 20 miles on the way to Dover today. Just as holidays bounce back, there are problems on land, sea and air. The P&O situation has created a massive impact. This freight driver was caught on the M20 in Kent as lorries are held after suspension of P&O cross-channel ferries. Today you've been here five hours and you've moved two miles. That's correct, yes. What do you think about what's going on? Dreadful. You can't actually take a rest because you're constantly on the go moving with the flow of the, of the queue. There is no toilet facilities whatsoever. Absolutely none. Well, there's nothing laid on? Nope. Food, nothing. drink? Nothing at all. P&O ferries from Dover are suspended for regulatory checks, leaving lorries waiting for alternatives. Families like this were caught in the disruption. In M20 is horrible. We've seen nearly 200 trucks in the queue. Did, were you caught in all of that? Yeah. And you've been looking forward to an Easter break like this for years now because you haven't been able to have one. Exactly, exactly. That's, that's the thing, you know. With the kids, you haven't gone anywhere, so you want to go somewhere nice. At airports too, there's been disruption largely due to staff shortages. Data for ITV News shows 833 outbound flight cancellations from UK airports this week. BA and EasyJet cancelled the most. With more than 6,000 flights scheduled this weekend, there are fears problems will continue. Manchester Airport today and more queues. Consumer groups say some in this sector left themselves woefully understaffed to cope with this resurgence in travel. And bosses here admit it will take weeks to restore normal service. The level of demand for travel has caught us by surprise. It has meant uh, that we're understaffed because it takes us you know, uh, quite a significant period to get you know, our security staff through all of the vetting, the training, the counter-terrorism checks which are critical to their role. Millions have missed being able to take a spring break, but nobody missed the delays and disruption Easter travel can bring. Chris Choi, ITV News in Maidstone.